the flight everyone's been talking about, Katy Perry, Gail King, Lauren Sanchez, Jeff Bezos' fiancé. All aboard Blue Origin's New Shepard capsule. They say it reached the space belt, 62 miles up, past the Karman line. A suborbital flight. Just 11 minutes. In and out of space. Or so they told us. But what if I told you the NS-31 mission wasn't exactly what it seemed? Millions watched it live. From Texas to the world. Tracked by independent observers. Verified by experts. However, these are not enough to quell the conspiracy theories that are spreading more and more widely. Find out everything in today's Tech Map episode. Number 1. The Capsule Door Mystery As I said in the previous video, some doubt that the flight was fake because the New Shepard capsule door moved slightly before Jeff Bezos opened it with a tool. But in this video, we will discover one more proof. The door looks too flimsy for space compared to thick, heavy hatch doors on orbital spacecraft. Obviously, if I were to go into space on a spaceship with a poorly designed or unreliable door, my mind would immediately jump to the worst case scenario like facing a painful death due to cabin depressurization in near vacuum conditions. Fortunately, New Shepard missions are licensed by the FAA, meaning the vehicle is theoretically safe enough for its suborbital flights. New Shepard's door can be opened from both the inside and outside. It's part of a strict safety protocol. If the capsule were to land in a remote area, astronauts need to be able to get out within 60 seconds. That means the door needs to be lightweight, easy to use, and accessible from either side. Also, New Shepard only reaches suborbital altitudes, so the pressure differences aren't nearly as intense as in deep space. And how about that slight movement in the clip? Most likely, a crew member was testing the door or shifting around inside after landing. Lightweight doors aren't evidence of a fake. They're a safety standard. Number 2. The Mannequin Hand There is a creepy mannequin-looking hand was spotted inside the capsule. Was the crew fake? Actually, that clip wasn't even from this flight. It came from a 2017 test mission featuring a dummy called Mannequining Skywalker. That's the hand people saw. Totally unrelated to Katy Perry's flight. Number 3. The footage looked too good. You know, the one where people say the footage is suspiciously flawless like a staged entertainment show rather than an actual space mission. Even the cast in that show also looked neat all the time. Their hair is floating so perfectly it's less zero gravity and more zero bad hair days. The complete opposite of Suni Williams' spiky hair on the ISS. You can even link to a shampoo commercial for hair extensions. Because obviously, when you blast off to space, your first priority is fabulous hair, not, you know, actual space stuff. On the other hand, people who defend the mission argue that the entire mission was broadcast live and verified by experts in real time. You can't fake that in front of millions. High-definition footage from multiple camera angles is normal now, and just because it looks smooth doesn't mean it's fake. Do you think we should give them the benefit of the doubt on this? Number 4. The crew was swapped. The capsule launched empty, and the celebrities were just posing for cameras afterward. Well, in my opinion, this conspiracy theory is unconvincing because Blue Origin has conducted 11 human space flights so far. So there's no evidence that they can't do so again. Additionally, the crew was visible in multiple stages of the mission. During pre-launch, inside the capsule, in flight, and post-landing. Plus, they all had to go through real astronaut training before being cleared for the flight. This wasn't a photo shoot. Number 5. Why the crew wore yoga pants? Sort of. Someone wondered why the flight suits looked way too casual. Real astronauts wear bulky pressure suits, right? Oh man, I don't think it should be on this list, but somehow I feel I have to explain it to those living under a rock. To put it simply, for a suborbital flight in a fully pressurized capsule, there's no need for those heavy-duty suits. The blue jumpsuits are totally normal, 
and actually pretty practical. The flight only lasts 11 minutes, there's no spacewalk, and the crew isn't exposed to vacuum. These suits are closer to race car gear. Fire resistant, flexible, and designed for short duration missions. Even X-15 pilots and Virgin Galactic passengers wore lightweight suits. So did Jeff Bezos in his 2021 flight. Bulky EVA suits. Not necessary here. Number six, no burn mark. The claim here is that the capsule looks way too clean after landing. Where are the scorch marks like we see on SpaceX capsules? To answer, New Shepard is not an orbital vehicle. It doesn't re-enter the atmosphere at thousands of miles per hour, like SpaceX's Dragon capsule, which hits speeds around 17,000 miles per hour and faces temperatures of up to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. New Shepard tops out at about 2,500 miles per hour, and parachutes handle most of the descent. The capsule only faces mild atmospheric friction. It has a thin heat shield and a reflective coating to handle that. So no burn marks are expected, and definitely not a sign of fakery. NASA's old X-15 aircraft and Virgin Galactic's flights also came back looking clean. Number seven, hidden satanic symbols on the mission logo. Some conspiracy theorists even scrutinized the NS-31 mission patch worn by all six women, claiming it contained hidden satanic symbols. When flipped upside down, they argued, the design resembled a satanic goat with an upside-down cross, imagery often linked to occult rituals. This theory gained more traction because of Katy Perry's public association with occult symbolism in her music and performances. For example, her E.T. music video, where she appears with goat legs. However, in reality, the mission patch simply features symbols representing each crew member's background like a microphone for Gail King and the scales of justice for Amanda Nguyen. It can be said that the explosion of those theories played a major role in making Blue Origin's NS-31 mission more viral than ever, albeit in a less positive way. I believe everything is in the anticipation of the BO's marketing team. Several factors played into the explosion of conspiracy theories surrounding the Blue Origin flight. For starters, the presence of celebrities like Katy Perry, Gail King, and Lauren Sanchez made the event look more like a publicity stunt than a scientific achievement, leading many to question its authenticity. Thanks to Hollywood, the public tends to expect something a lot more dramatic and action-packed. This gap between expectation and reality left a lot of room for doubt. On top of that, there's a widespread misunderstanding of the technical details behind suborbital travel. People wondered why there were no scorch marks on the capsule or why the passengers weren't wearing bulky spacesuits. Viral clips taken out of context didn't help either. One popular video showed the capsule door moving slightly before Jeff Bezos officially opened it, sparking immediate suspicion online. Then there's the nature of conspiracy theories themselves. They're addictive, dramatic, and extremely shareable. They give people a rush, a feeling that they're uncovering hidden secrets. It's also important to remember that communities that already believe space travel is fake, like moon landing deniers, seized on this flight as yet another piece of so-called evidence for their claims. Add in the fact that society has a long-standing fascination with the secret lives of the ultra-wealthy, and it's easy to see how rumors spiraled. The delay in releasing real-time footage from the capsule also added fuel to the fire. People speculated wildly in the information vacuum. Plus, there was an early theory that a mannequin's hand, specifically Mannequin Skywalker from a 2017 test flight, was seen instead of Katy Perry's even though that idea was quickly debunked. Once a seed of doubt is planted, though, it's hard to completely uproot. Finally, social media platforms like TikTok made it incredibly easy for these conspiracy theories to spread. Short, compelling videos claiming irrefutable evidence circulated widely and rapidly, reaching millions before any fact checks could catch up. All of these factors combined to create a perfect storm, fueling the continued widespread discussion and suspicion surrounding the Blue Origin spaceflight. New Shepard's 11th human flight 
NS-31, launched on April with Aisha Bo, Amanda Nguyen, Gail King, Katy Perry, Carrie Ann Flynn, and Lauren Sanchez. Aisha Bo is a former NASA rocket scientist, entrepreneur, and global STEM advocate. She is the CEO of STEMBOARD, an engineering firm twice named to the Inc. 5000 list, and founder of Lingo, an edtech company aiming to equip one million students with essential tech skills. Her path, from community college to space, reflects a deep commitment to expanding access to STEM education and empowering future generations to dream big. Amanda Nguyen is a bioastronautics research scientist. She graduated from Harvard and conducted research at Harvard Center for Astrophysics, MIT, NASA, and the International Institute for Astronautical Sciences. Amanda worked on the last NASA shuttle mission, STS-135, and the Kepler Exoplanet mission. For her advocacy for sexual violence survivors, she was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize and awarded Time's Woman of the Year. As the first Vietnamese and Southeast Asian woman astronaut, Amanda's flight is a symbol of reconciliation between the United States and Vietnam and highlights science as a tool for peace. Gail King is an award-winning journalist, co-host of CBS Mornings, editor-at-large of Oprah Daily, and the host of Gail King in the House on Sirius XM Radio. In a career spanning decades, King has been recognized as a gifted, compassionate interviewer able to break through the noise and create meaningful conversations. Katy Perry is the biggest-selling female artist in Capitol Records history and one of the best-selling music artists of all time, with over 115 billion streams. Aside from being a global pop superstar, Katy is an active advocate of many philanthropic causes including as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, where she uses her powerful voice to ensure every child's right to health, education, equality, and protection, and her own Firework Foundation, which empowers children from underserved communities by igniting their inner light through the arts. After a successful career in fashion and human resources, Carrie Ann Flynn has spent the last decade channeling her energy into community building, through board service and nonprofit work with the Allen Stevenson School, the High Line, and Hudson River Park. Passionate about the transformative power of storytelling, Carrie Ann has produced thought provoking films such as This Changes Everything, 2018, which explores the history of women in Hollywood, and Lily, 2024, a powerful tribute to fair pay advocate Lily Ledbetter. Lauren Sanchez is an Emmy Award-winning journalist, New York Times best-selling author, pilot, vice chair of the Bezos Earth Fund, and mother of three. Sanchez released her New York Times best-selling debut children's book, The Fly Who Flew to Space, in 2024. Her work in aviation earned her the Elling Halverson Vertical Flight Hall of Fame Award in 2024 for her expertise as a helicopter pilot and aviation businesswoman. 